my most amazing artists, Mrs. Harrington here. It's wonderful to see you again. Today we will be creating a figure sculpture using aluminum foil. A figure is the shape of the human body when it's used to create a work of art. First, we're going to take a quick look at an artist named Alberto Giacometti, who also creates expressive figure sculptures using metal. Have you ever looked at something for such a long time that you started to see things you never saw before? Have you seen something from far away that looks completely different when you get close up? Have you ever drawn something more than once and each time it came out differently? The artist we're looking at today was fascinated by these questions. This is the artist Alberto Giacometti. He lived from 1901 to 1966. He spent long periods of time observing the world around him and then trying to recreate what he saw through his drawings and paintings and sculptures. He was especially fascinated with people and with the human form. Giacometti often made artwork by looking closely at his family and friends. Throughout his life, he, the artist looked at different cultures and styles of art for inspiration. Giacometti experimented with something called abstraction, which takes recognizable subjects and simplifies them into basic shapes and lines. One time a car ran into Giacometti and broke his foot. The larger the figure became in his artwork, the thinner it would be, with stretched out arms and legs. This sculpture, called Walking Man, captures the movement of someone starting to walk or in the middle of walking. Where was he coming from? Where do you think he's going? Next, we're going to learn a simple way to shape the foil into a figure. Then, we're going to explore some creative ways to use your sculpture to make even more art. Aluminum foil is usually something you can find in the kitchen at home. You want a piece shaped like a rectangle. This shows you the map of where we're going to cut on our foil. You're going to be cutting on the dotted lines, in the middle from the bottom, a little ways up, and then two cuts, about evenly spaced, along the top, part way down. These flaps will become the arms, and these two will become the legs. This flap will become the head. You're going to gently squeeze each leg section into long hot dog shapes. Now gently squeeze each arm section into a long hot dog shape. You can twist it a little bit to make it a little stronger. Take one hand and squeeze the middle head section like a lemon or a baseball. Then you're going to gently wrap the center together, squishing it together to make the body. Squeeze a little more to shape it better. This makes your sculpture stronger and more lifelike. If the arms are too long, you can fold them in at the ends. Bend the legs a little at the bottom to create feet. Now have fun creating different expressive poses with your foil figure. Don't forget, I would love to see any pictures of artwork that you've been able to create if you can share them on the CES Art Gallery Padlet. Remember to post it under the column that has your grade level in it. Click the plus on the top, add the picture, and then don't forget to write your name so that we know whose artwork it is. So have fun, stay well, and I can't wait to see what you create.